Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you my top favorite Vera Bradley travel bags. This was a video request by Justice. Thank you, Justice, for requesting this video. I am just handpicked a few of my very favorite bags for traveling in my Vera Bradley collection. These are bags that are tried and true, bags that I've taken on me, taken with me on lots of different trips. Um, and also Justice requested uh, great bags for carry-on. I do not, unfortunately, have a lot of flight experience. I have been on a plane before, and I only have taken one of the bags I have here on a plane as a carry-on. And it was with a uh, specific airline. I think it was Delta. Um, so I, I have not flown with any other airlines, so I do not know their specific rules with carry-ons, but I think across the board, the bag that I'm, one of the bags I'm going to be talking about is carry-on compliant. So we will talk a little bit about, about the, the flight aspect once we get to that specific bag, but I thought in this video I would just show you my favorite travel bags, what I like to use them for, what I like to pack in them, and then also as a bonus, I'm going to show you just a few of my favorite travel accessories. So these are the items that I like to carry with and inside of some of these travel bags. So with no further ado, let's just jump right into this. One of my favorite bags to travel with, and this is more specifically for road trip traveling. I've never taken this on a plane before, but this is the older style weekender bag shown here in the pattern ink blue. I actually bought this like several months before I got um, a job at a specialty retailer that sold Vera and I bought this from that retailer. I went in and I I was in college and I asked for an application and she said that they weren't hiring anybody at the time but she let me fill out the application and said that she would keep it on file just in case they needed somebody but that they would likely not be hiring for a long time. At the time I walked around the store with my mom and Ink Blue was just retiring and so this was 50% off and I never had like a weekender, I never had a duffel bag or anything like that so I really wanted to try it and I bought it and that was like in the winter of maybe was it 2014? Something like that but anyway fast forward to the spring right before school ended and I was going into summer break I got a call from the specialty retailer that they were looking for somebody to to work for the summer and I ended up working there for years uh, throughout college. So this bag in particular just brings back a lot of great memories for me because it was my first travel bag and eventually, you know, it led to a job somehow at that, at that store. But this is the older iteration of the Weekender. There has since been a redesigned Weekender that you can find on verabradley.com today. I have not tried that iteration of it, but I do love this one. I've had this one for several years. It's been through the wash a lot of different times. And for how much it's, had, it's been used, it is quite faded, but it is still kicking and still doing great. I like to use this for car travel. I like to use this specifically for my clothing and my toiletry items that are in like a separate case. And I also like to sometimes put my shoes in here, socks, things like that. With this one, you have the pretty border trim on the front, but you also have this gigantic zipper pocket, which has the double zipper feature. And it zips all the way around and flaps down like so. There's no additional organization in this pocket, but typically when I'm traveling, I love to put, sometimes I put my toiletry bag in this pocket. Sometimes I just put socks and undergarments in this pocket. And there have been times where I put shoes in this pocket as well. Like, um, for example, the shoes I'm wearing today, um, this is like this is like a slip-on tile style shoe and it fits really nicely. Sorry about all the noise outside. Um, but anyway, this style shoe fits really nicely into, into a pocket like that. So I'm not sure about like larger tennis shoes because I've never put like tennis shoes type shoes in here before. But I think slip-on shoes, flip-flops, slippers fit in there really well. And then on the back, you have two slip pockets on the end, which are good for like maybe, oh, I have a receipt in there. 
which are good for like smaller items, uh, not necessarily water bottle size. They only go to the seam right here. And then you do have a trolley sleeve like that. And then you have these two grab handles. It also comes with a crossbody strap, which I believe is on the inside. But you have this double zipper opening here, which opens up nice and wide. And on the back wall, you have three slip pockets. And then on the front wall, you have two large slip pockets. And typically in the two large slip pockets, I like to separate out my undergarments. And in the small, the smaller ones, I like to put larger items like uh, bottles of lotion, things like that. And then here is the crossbody strap. It is an adjustable canvas strap with these larger buckles. And you do get like a padded shoulder sleeve with this type of travel bag but I've used this for years. This has been back and forth to college with me so many times. I, I've packed it so full to go on trips, um, to go home, everything. This has, I, I used to be in um, a college choir and we would have a tour every spring where we would go to different states and uh, different locations for a week or two weeks and sing and so I always needed a, a travel bag and it was by bus We didn't fly for these types of trips and I would always use this to pack all of my clothes because it fit everything So I would have this and maybe like a backpack with my school stuff This was the perfect travel bag. So this is just called the weekender and this print is ink blue Next travel bag, and this is in really no particular order, but I will call out two specific styles that I think are my ultimate favorites once we get to them. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's our neighbor. So we have a fence and our neighbors have a fence and they have a bigger dog. And um, so our dogs kind of meet at the fence and uh, constantly bark at each other. And also our neighbor is over, so. Sorry about all the noise. But anyway, uh, this is the large Vera tote, and I also love to use this for travel. I think that this would most likely make a really good carry-on. Like, you could put a laptop, a tablet, maybe a book, a few other uh, smaller accessories in this bag. But I also have used this to pack clothes and take clothes home for like a weekend trip, for example. So you have uh, this front zipper pocket here, which is perfect for smaller accessories, like if you want to put your jewelry in there and it is protected. You also have a slip pocket back there if you wanted to slip your phone. No pockets on the back, but on the top you have the hidden, um, let's see if I can open that up a little bit better. You have a hidden slip pocket that's also perfect for a phone or another quick grab item like a wallet. You have this nice zipper opening here. To protect all of your stuff which I do like that about the the newer Vera totes and then inside you've got six slip-in pockets on this particular style they're not quilted pockets but the inside is cotton or some kind of cotton blend I when I'm using this for travel I put clothes in the body and then I'll put like socks and undergarments and other little travel necessities and the rest of the slip pockets and this makes a great bag to, so to me, this would not be a bag for like a whole week of clothing, but I could definitely fit three days worth of clothing plus pajamas. So four uh, outfits, I guess, one of them being a sleep outfit, but still like I, I have done that before. I have been able to um, pack that many outfits in here. And typically I like to roll my clothing and I do that no matter what, but when I'm, especially when I'm traveling, I roll my clothing and my undergarments because I'm able to get more in my bags if I do that. So this is the large Vera tote and the pattern that I'm showing it in is in neon blooms. Next bag. So this one I picked up last spring. This is the reactive brand backpack and it is shown in the, ooh, I forget the name of this, it's like, blue heather blue blue heather something like that but it is reactive so it is that recycled water bottle material i picked this up when they had a really good sale on the reactive last year and this to me is right up there with my one of my favorite travel bags which is the campus backpack we will see that in here in a little bit 
This one has a little bit more bells and whistles in terms of the material. It's durable, it's water resistant. So if it gets wet, the water's just gonna bead right off of it. It's not going to absorb like it would in a campus backpack. I think it also has a couple more really key accessories, like it's got this carabiner here on the side. So if I need to just quick access, have my keys clipped here, or maybe if I have a water bottle that's got a loop, I could clip my water bottle to it, great. This also has a, a really robust trolley sleeve. So it's not like a trolley strap where it's just like two inches with a fabric. No, this is a nice robust trolley sleeve. And you can see the stitching in the back that it is also a padded backpack. The straps are also very comfortable and very durable. I've had no, I've used this many times too for traveling and I've had no issues with it. The handle is I think by far the best handle on any backpack style I've seen because the handle on my campus backpack is more of like a nylon and it's not as strong whereas this I feel like it's really reinforced and a lot stronger than the handles on my campus backpacks. So you've, you've got like this rubberized uh, or plasticized uh, Vera Bradley label on the front. You do have the chunky zippers for the most part on this backpack which are great, they're smooth, they work fine. But you've got this nice pocket in the front, goes all the way down to the bottom, and there's no organization inside. But that is great for, for example, sometimes I like to throw my work laptop chargers in here, or sometimes I'll put my first aid items in this pocket. Because you never know when you might need things like that. The second pocket does come with the double zippers. They don't have, they don't, this type of backpack does not come with ribbon zipper pulls or any other type of zipper pulls. It's just the metal zipper on its own. And this pocket, as you'll see, zips all the way down to the bottom on both ends and opens up wide. So it can actually lay flat like so. You also get a good look at the inside pattern. But this is where I think a lot of the bells and whistles comes in. Because while the campus backpack has a similar configuration, I kind of like that this one zips out all the way open if you need it to. So you've got a nice zipper pocket here and it only goes to like right about here so this is also a great place for me to store my chargers there's also a slip pocket here and a slip pocket here and then we've got one two three four pen slips right there and then there's also a place for your id with a little a uh, hole cut through there so you can slip your id in and out i never use those in my bags but i think it's just nice to have in case that is something you do use. And let's go on to the next pockets here. Zip this up. You also have two water bottle sleeves on the outside and the top half is in this really padded mesh. So it's a little bit more elasticized at the top and you've got that on both sides. The next pocket also has a double zipper and that is what I would consider your main interior. The zippers go right down to the top of the water bottle pocket. And in here is where you've got the majority of the bag's capacity. So there's the base. And that base takes up a majority of the capacity here. So you have a, a sleeve that could be dedicated to your tablet and it is a little bit padded, not a ton, but a little bit. And that is the only pocket that you have on the inside of that compartment. If you're using this for clothes, like I have used this for clothes before, I could probably get a weekend's worth of clothes in here. And I usually put my shoes... Sorry. I usually put my shoes either in this slip pocket here or I put them in this zipper pocket here just to kind of separate them if I'm using this for clothing. Um, but I like to roll up my clothes again and kind of fit all of that in there. But if you're using this as like a work bag, it, this is a stellar work bag, especially if you have a laptop that's not the standard 13 or 15 inches. I've got a 15.6 inch. I know some people that still have those, you know, 16 inch laptops, those more irregular sizes that you don't see on the market as often nowadays. This is a great backpack for that because it's got a little more height on it than the, the campus backpack. So you can get those bigger laptops in this bag. 17 inches, I don't think a 17 inch will fit in here, but if you've got something like a 15.6 inch like I do, 
it will fit. So here's the laptop zipper and you'll see it's just one zipper. It's an inverse smooth zipper. So it's not an inverse chunky, but it's the smooth one just inside out basically. And this goes from that top corner all the way almost to the bottom here. And this by far, I think is one of my favorite laptop sleeve configurations. They've played with so many different ways you can access the laptop sleeve. And this is one of my favorite configurations because it's just wide enough that you can slip in your laptop if it's a little bit bigger like mine and just get it in there and be good to go. It is nice and padded, especially this back half, very nice and padded. And I like also that there is an interior pattern because typically in Vera Bradley's backpacks, especially the campus backpacks, the laptop sleeves are not patterned. They're usually solid colors. So that's kind of nice too. Okay. So, oh, also of course the backpack straps are adjustable and this does not have an over the chest uh, strap. So I've never taken this on a plane, but would I? I definitely would as long as it would be carry on compliant. I'm almost positive it is because it's not much bigger than the campus backpack. It's not like that super giant journey backpack that Vera, I think, maybe has retired now. I'm not sure. But it is a, a good substantial size. So that is the Reactive Grand Backpack in blue heather. Okay, this next one, I'll just go ahead and do the campus. So far, this is my ultimate favorite travel bag, period. I've taken the campus more places, I think, than any other bag, even that weekender back there. So I've... I've had a lot of different iterations of the campus backpack. They're, they have changed over the years, and this one is not even the newest one. There's a, a, a one that looks a little bit different than this one now that recently came out with some of the newer patterns. So, But I've had all like the iterations that came before this. I've had those back in college and things like that. So those have been tried and true for my travels, you know, going to and from school and going on trips, choir trips, uh, other school trips, things like that. That's been, they've been a lot of places. So I think this is, that's why this is my tried and true. I've used this for work, used it for school, used it for travel, used it for day trips, used it for all kinds of things. It's great because it's comfortable. Again, it's tried and true. It's a great size. It's washable. And it's just a really flattering silhouette. So on this campus backpack, this is in the pattern charcoal medallion. This is the regular size campus. They also make the campus XL, which I have owned. And to be quite frank with you, I don't like as much for some reason. I think because I'm petite in height. And so that one's got like an extra pocket and it does bulk out a little bit more. And the one that I had, weirdly enough, did not fit my work laptop, whereas this one does. And they were both the same type of, you know, model. Like they both came out around the same time, but the XL you think would be bigger and at least have the same laptop sleeve size, but it did not fit my work laptop. So that was kind of an immediate turnoff for me. And I I did end up selling that quite recently, the, the last XL that I had. So I'm going to stick with the campus. Maybe I'll try the XL again someday because I think that one has a little bit of a, a different look to the front of it now too. But anyway, this is a charcoal medallion. The pattern's a, a couple years old, a few years old. So you have this metal zipper because this was also metal zipper, zipper error, era. It was also kind of an error in my opinion uh, to do these metal zippers. But anyway... <laughs> So you got the, the pleather nameplate, but this is a zipper pocket. It's just a plain old pocket. Um, cat's meow. There's a cat's meow. Bear Bradley tag in there. Um, just a plain pocket. This again I, is a place where I like to keep chargers or first aid kits. This next pocket is similar to um, the Reactive Grands where, you know, you've got your kind of office pocket. It folds out like this, which is nice. And there's nothing on this wall, but on this wall, it's hard to see with this particular pattern, but you do have an ID sleeve. It does not have a hole in the window like the other backpack. You've got a, an additional slip back here. There's a slip up here. And then you've got one, two, three, four pen slips right here. 
So I'll bring you in closer. It's kind of hard to see just because the inside pattern's kind of busy. But this is where your two slip pockets are here. And then your pen slips and then your ID windows down here. And then of course you've got the rest of this space down there to put stuff, which I always do. Like I put my petite pouches down there with cords and uh, flash drives and things like that. On this particular backpack, you do have the pleather looped zipper pulls, which are fine. You also have the elasticized water bottle pockets, which these are usually my favorite because I can get my really big water bottles in here. I don't have my big orange one, but you can get your, you know, your 32 ounce water bottles in these slip pockets, which I love. On to the main interior, you've got the double zipper. This is an iteration of the campus backpack where you've got the headphone loop, which basically, so you can have your phone or iPod or whatever on the inside and then loop your headphones through and listen to your headphones while this is on your back. I've never, I probably used that feature once when I was like in high school or college, but I have never used that since, so. But it's there on this iteration <laughs> if you're interested. So again, this main compartment, this is where you're gonna find the most capacity. So there's the base all stretched out there for you. You've got the two mesh slip pockets on one wall and then on the opposite wall, there is nothing. So again, I've used this for clothes before. And this one I did take with me on a plane, this exact one, a charcoal medallion. I uh, took this when I went to Disney two, almost two years ago, almost two uh, winters ago. And it was my first time going on a plane ever, and I took this as my carry-on. So I had my personal laptop in the laptop sleeve, and then in the main compartment. So I was going from a very cold place to Florida, and it was my first time ever going to Florida. Even though it was in the winter time, it was still warmer down there. So I, in here, I had like a light jacket for uh, Midwestern weather. And then I also had a couple other, you know, accessories. I got, went with my laptop. I had accessories for my phone. I had one book. I, um, trying to remember what else I had in that backpack at the time. I'm sure I had more, but I didn't want to overpack it just in case it would set off anything, you know, be too heavy to take on the plane or what have you. But again, we flew Delta, so it fit overhead just fine. And it also fit underneath the seat. So I think on my way there I had this underneath the seat so I can easily access things and I think on the way back I think I did put it overhead something tells me I put it overhead I can't remember um I did have a suitcase with other stuff like clothing and things but I think I ended up checking that in when I went back and it was a suitcase that was compliant to bring on the plane overhead it was a smaller one but on the way back something tells me that I did put this overhead. I, I kind of remember that. So anyhow, this is carry-on compliant. So Justice, I hope that answers your question. This so far is my, and again, I don't have a ton of flight experience. So I would recommend, uh, there's a lot of great YouTube videos out there about travel bags uh, for flights and things like that. I would recommend checking those out if you're interested. But for me personally, for being on a plane, uh, the one time this was amazing and I don't I, I definitely would try other things just to see what else works but this it was perfect as a carry-on this is the campus backpack and charcoal medallion oh I'm not done yet <laughs> that was the main interior this also has the laptop sleeve that starts up here and goes almost to the bottom you'll see no interior pattern it's just the gray but perfect size for my 15.6 inch work laptop <laughs> We've got the handle, which this is a very soft nylon. It is not robust. It's hard to see, but it, I mean, I bought this two years ago and it's already, the handle's already fraying. I also have this backpack in the pattern Indio and the handle's completely ripped on that one, but I love that one so much that I fixed it. I sewed it myself. I don't want to get rid of it just because the handle ripped. But I just want to put that out there because the, at least this iteration of the campus backpack, the handles are flimsy for being this big of a, a bag. I really think they need to switch over and do these more robust handles because this is very, not only is it thick, but just the material itself is very robust, whereas this is not. 
but anyway you also have really comfortable padded straps which are reinforced on the ends and then you have a nice trolley sleeve on the back too which makes a difference if you're traveling on a plane and have a suitcase and you don't want to have this on your back the whole time you can just put this on the handle and be good to go there's the bottom it is adjustable and highly highly recommend it's a great bag whether you're traveling in the car or if you're walking or if you're uh, going on a plane I think it's great and last but not least for travel bags larger travel bags haven't gotten to accessories yet my favorite tote to travel with by far is the VBU tote this is in the print petite garden the VBU line is a very limited line so they're you know they just had totes they had the backpack crossbody they had a compact crossbody a satchel bag like a, a purse style a duffel and like a zip id lanyard and um that's pretty much it but this tote this, i mean every item that came out of the vpu line is a gem to me i love every single thing but this tote i think would have to be one of my favorites the satchel is my favorite bag period but this is an amazing tote for travel ever since i picked this tote up i've used it so many times for travel for clothes and for work i've used this on so many road trips and even though we're in the pandemic uh when i did have to travel whether it was for work or if i went home to visit family or um, and that was, you know, pre-pandemic as well, because I, I traveled for work a ton pre-pandemic. And then I had to travel a few more times, like necessary, necessary travel during the pandemic too. And this tote came with me because it is amazing. And let me tell you why. Let's get in. <laughs> Let's get into it. So there is this nice zipper pocket on the front. I like to use this. So if I'm using this as my main bag, this is a great place to stick a wallet. I like to use smaller wallets. So my favorite wallet to use is the Zip ID case. This is in my favorite uh, factory outlet pattern, Painted Paisley. I've got a lanyard on there. This is perfect to put your wallet in and then you zip it up and it's protected. You can also put your phone in there. This pocket goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag and it looks kind of weird right now because of the way I have it folded, but let me see if I can flatten out that base just a little bit. Oh, also I have the strap in there, so that's probably why it's looking weighed down like that. Anyway, there we go. So that goes all the way down to the bottom, which is great. And you can put other things in there. I've also used this as a work bag, so my chart, my big old computer charger would go in there just fine. You also have, oh, there's the name plate, but you've got these nice soft canvas straps and these are nice rolled or they're folded over shoulder straps and they're very comfortable. And then on the opposite side, you've got the same strap, but then you have a slip pocket. So it's basically the same pocket that's on the other side, but it's just strictly a slip pocket. There is the base. And then the top, you get one zipper, which is all you really need because it these are the nice soft plastic zippers. And the uh, zipper pull is this like faux leather uh, ribbon-like zipper pull. Unlike the Vera Tote, the configuration is very simple on the inside. You just have the two large slip pockets in the chambray color. And then you got one very large zipper pocket on the back. The zipper pocket, I think goes, I would say maybe halfway, three fourths of the way down the bag. And then let's see if I can get you in to see the capacity here. So look, this is great. I've used this so many times as a clothing bag. Like, so this would have all my clothing in it. Once I got four outfits to fit in here with a pair of slip on shoes, that, that type of shoe um, with a toiletry bag. So like a large cosmetic is typically what I like to take a Vera Bradley large cosmetic with all my toiletries. And I got my personal laptop in here with accessories like chargers and 
battery packs and the usual things. This is fabulous. This is just fabulous. I love this tote so much. You also have crossbody strap, strap hookups here. And this is what the crossbody strap looks like. It is that nice robust canvas material and you've got nice metal hardware on it. There is no padded uh, sleeve on this. That's my cat. Give me two seconds, sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. This is a more chaotic video than I, I would like to share, so sorry. Um, but there is no padded um, shoulder rest on this strap, but I have not found that I needed that. If you find that you need that, you can always pick one up on Amazon to slip on, or if you have another Vera bag that has that, you can always slip it on there. That's my cat. <laughs> but anyway, I like having this on here when I am using this bag. If I want, you know, just a singular strap, See if I can actually get it on there and then voila you have a nice <laughs> nice shoulder strap there and it's very very comfortable I've also used this as a work bag and it again I have a, a little bit of a larger laptop fits my laptop great fits my work stuff great I've also brought books with me on trips and it fits in here great I just love this bag for travel. Just by eyeballing it, I think it would be a perfect carry-on size because it's not much, it's not much bigger than the Vera tote. And I think as a matter of fact, they have very, it's hard to show it in, in this. Let's see if I can kind of step back just a little bit. I think they actually have the same dimensions, but this is just a slouchier material which is why you can see the bottom is kind of slouching out a little bit, but they're basically the same. Oh, and this is full too, so that's why it looks big. But I'm using that as a work, that Vera tote as a work bag right now. But this is great. So I, I do recommend if you can find this to pick this up. All right, so now we're 32 minutes in, we're gonna move into some of my favorite travel accessories. This is not Vera Bradley, this is Lug and this is their transport envelope, specifically the large size. I love using this for my charger cords. I do have these um, extra long charger cords, and so they don't always fit into the small petite pouches, so I like to roll them up and put them in this clear zipper pocket. And then in the back zipper pocket, which is separate, I like to put the actual um, charging ports in there. Another favorite travel accessory of mine, this is also Lug. This is their packable, their PJ packable, puddle jumper packable tote. I got this during um, one of their very first Lug Lives. You've got this uh, clip here, so I like to clip it on the hanger bar in my closet um, when I'm not using it. But it is a tote that folds up into this nice little packable size. This I like to specifically use as a laundry bag when I'm traveling. So if I don't want to put my dirty clothes back in here, because I usually put it in like a Walmart bag. So once I wear clothing, I usually put it in a Walmart bag and then put it back in here with the rest of my stuff. If I don't want to do that, I bring this. And this just folds out. And you've got these two straps. And it looks just like Lug's signature tote bag, the Puddle Jumper, but it's just this kind of watered down version of it. So you still have the two zipper pockets. You've got, um, you know, workable pockets here on the front, there's Velcro, and then you've got this bigger pocket down here where the, the bag folded out of. So that's perfect for laundry for me. And then two other bags, these are both Vera. One is the mini cosmetic, and again, this is another place where I like to put like hand sanitizers and um, things like that inside. This is a mosaic, and sometimes I like to put like a mask and just some backup stuff. Might be stuff that I already have in my handbag, but I like to back it up in this just in case I need a replacement sanitizer or a replacement mask or something like that. And then my favorite... Oh, I forgot about this. This is the petite pouch that I've been referencing throughout the video where I like to put my smaller charger cords and uh, flash drives and things like that. 
But my favorite toiletry bag to use when I'm traveling is Vera Bradley's Large Cosmetic. This one is actually a special one. This is in the Quilt Con pattern Quilt Floral. And for some reason, the Quilt Con pattern cosmetics are a little bit larger than the regular Signature Store cosmetics. I'm not sure why, but they're boosted up in size a little bit. But I love to use these because they fit all of my toiletries, including my hair care products, perfectly. So I don't have to carry a separate bag for hair care. So with this, you get this front zipper pocket. It's not lined with anything, um, but typically I like to keep stuff in little plastic containers in here like floss picks and Q-tips, maybe um, my toothbrush in a case and my toothpaste in a little case as well. And then here's what the back looks like, no pockets on the back. But then in the main interior, you've got this plastic lined inside and it's so large, again, I can fit full-size products and then also my little travel-size products that I like to carry with me. And so something like this would fit in here, along with all my clothes and laptop and things. So those are my favorite travel bags. Bonus with accessories, too. Justice, I hope this uh, video helped you. If anyone has any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll talk to you later.